A couple of last tips for displaying your watershed and the drainage lines. We've converted our watershed here that we delineated from a raster to a vector, but sometimes you want to change the color and transparency. So you can double left click and go to the symbology. And in the symbology, you can then pick what color you want, right? So I can pick a bluish color here if I want it sort of in a light blue. And then I could change the transparency. I could make it fully opaque or partially opaque. And usually you want it something like partially opaque so you can see through it. And there I have then my transparency and I can change to a gray or whatever color I want. The other thing I want is the drainage. I want to get those drainage lines that showed up and they're not really showing up here at all. They're those sort of gray or, or bluish lines that show up. And I really have to convert those to a vector. And probably the best way to do that is in the data tools, in the white box tools here. I go to the data tools and for the white box tools and down I can go raster to vector lines. So I double left click and I pick the input raster and that's my drainage. And I'll just then save that to a file and I'll call that my streams and run. I then get my vector streams and then I can stylize these however I want. I can change the color again on those to something like a really dark blue. And I can change the widths that they show up. Okay. And then my streams then will show up on top of my data layers here or then with my watershed.